Welcome everyone to All Things Thresher Shark. Today we're plunging into the fascinating world of one of the ocean's most mysterious and sleek predators, the Thresher Shark. Now you might be wondering why these sharks are called Thresher Sharks. Well, hold on to your snorkels because the answer involves one of the most bizarre and effective hunting tools in the shark world. By the end of this video, you'll not only know how these incredible sharks hunt, but also what makes them so unique, their close relatives, how they reproduce, and even a fun story or two about them. If you're curious to learn more about any particular group of marine creatures, let us know in the comments down below. Your wish could be our next deep dive into all things marine life. Before we jump in, don't forget to like, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss out on anything ocean related. Let's dive right in. Thresher sharks scientifically grouped under the genus Alopius are instantly recognizable thanks to their enormously elongated upper tail fin, sometimes as long as their entire body. This tail isn't just for show, it's a bona fide hunting weapon. We'll see how they wield it in just a moment. There are three known species, the common thresher, the big eye thresher, and the pelagic thresher. Each species has a subtle difference like eye size or body length, but they all share that same characteristic whip-like tail. They typically measure anywhere between 10 and 20 feet or 3 to 6 meters, and if you include the tail it really makes them look even more imposing. A top tip if you ever see one in the wild, admire it from afar. These sharks are known for their impressive leaps from the water and lightning fast tail slaps. Thresher sharks are cosmopolitan, meaning they're found across the globe in temperate and tropical oceans. They seem to prefer offshore deep waters, though sometimes you'll find them closer to coastal areas, especially near continental shelves. The common thresher is known to migrate seasonally, seeking cooler or warmer waters. Talk about a frequent flyer. If you're looking to spot a thresher shark, responsibly of course, a popular place is around Malapascua Island in the Philippines, where divers get up close to pelagic threshers each morning. But be prepared to wake up for that early dive, these sharks like to show up before the rest of the ocean wakes up. Mornings in the shark world are apparently prime grooming hours at cleaning stations. Alright, let's talk about the star of the show, that spectacular tail. The upper lobe of a thresher shark's caudal fin can be as long as the shark's body itself. Imagine if your ponytail were as tall as you are and it could knock out your lunch. That's essentially the same idea with thresher sharks. Thresher sharks use their tail like a whip to herd and stun schools of fish or squid. In fact, scientists have documented them using their powerful tails to create shock waves, knocking multiple prey items unconscious in a single strike. It's like a real life action movie underwater. They're also known for their athletic leaping abilities. Some fishermen have reported being startled by thresher sharks jumping out of the water and occasionally onto their boats. So how exactly do they hunt? Thresher sharks are opportunistic feeders. Their diet typically includes small pelagic fish like mackerel, herring, sardines, and sometimes squid. The process often begins with the shark's keen eyesight. Big eye threshers, as their name suggests, have large eyes specifically adapted to hunting in low light conditions. Once they locate a school, they'll circle around, herd the fish into a tight group, and then wham, they unleash that powerful tail swipe. Stunned or injured fish float briefly, giving the thresher shark an easy meal. This is one of the most unique predatory strategies among sharks. Many other sharks use ambush or brute force, but threshers, they prefer to whip it real good. It's basically a fish stunning technique and a good party trick if you ask me. Let's move on to something you might not often hear about. Thresher shark romance, or at least their version of it. Thresher sharks are ovoviviparous, which means the eggs develop inside the mother and hatch internally. The pups then continue to grow until they're ready for an underwater debut. Female threshers typically give birth to only a few pups at a time, sometimes just two to four. This is one of the reasons they're vulnerable to fishing pressures. Fewer babies mean smaller population growth rates. A typical newborn pup is already around four to five feet or 1.2 to 1.5 meters long. Talk about a big baby. The pups are miniature versions of the adults, complete with that adorable mini tail. Although it's smaller in proportion when they're young, it quickly becomes their signature attribute as they grow. Thresher sharks share their order, Lamniformes, with some pretty famous cousins. Great white sharks, mako sharks, and even the goblin shark are cousins of the thresher shark. They may not be as instantly recognizable as a great white, but they're just as fascinating, maybe even more so depending on your taste. Although they share similarities with mako sharks, especially in body shape, both are streamlined and fast, thresher sharks' elongated tail is their unique claim to fame. No other shark in this group wields its tail like a bullwhip, as much as the thresher does. 
Unfortunately, thresher sharks face serious threats from overfishing, both targeted fisheries and bycatch. Their fins are considered valuable in some markets, leading to unsustainable fishing practices. Thankfully, awareness is growing. Some regions have enacted protections, including bans on certain shark fishing and trade restrictions. Plus, ecotourism and shark conservation programs help educate people about why sharks like the thresher are so important for our oceans. If we lose thresher sharks, we don't just lose a magnificent creature, we also disrupt the balance of marine ecosystems. That's a classic case of you don't know what you've got until it's gone. So let's hope it doesn't come to that. Time for some fun stories. One anecdote that always makes me chuckle is a fisherman that nearly fell out of his boat when a common thresher shark launched itself clear out of the water like a flying torpedo only to land with a huge splash. The fisherman swore he almost got a free saltwater bath in the process. Also, did you know that thresher sharks have been seen schooling? While many sharks are solitary, there are times when threshers appear in loose groups, possibly cooperating or gathering around plentiful food sources. It's sort of like a dinner party, except the hors d'oeuvres have no idea they're about to be the main course. Another fun fact, some researchers suspect that, on occasion, thresher sharks might slap the surface of the water, not just to stun prey, but also to communicate or ward off competitors, so that epic tail is not just a weapon, it could be their version of an underwater, hey, this is my turf. New research techniques like satellite tagging are shedding light on where thresher sharks travel and why. Recent data suggests some species undertake much longer migrations than we first thought, often linked to water temperature or prey abundance. Scientists are also exploring how changes in ocean climate might affect thresher shark distribution. With warming seas, do they move further north or further south? Will their prey shift? It's an ongoing study and every new piece of data helps us better understand how to protect these sharks. If you're an adventurous diver looking to respectfully observe thresher sharks in the wild, remember a few things. Follow local guidelines. Choose reputable dive operators who emphasize conservation and safe interactions. Keep a safe distance. These sharks can whip that tail in a heartbeat and it's best to admire them from afar. Early mornings are prime. If you're headed to a place like Malapascua in the Philippines, be prepared for a dawn dive to catch a glimpse of these sleek creatures. Observing them in the wild can be a life-changing experience. It's a humbling reminder of how magical and fragile our oceans truly are. So there you have it. From the formidable tail whips to their adorable big-eyed pups, thresher sharks are a perfect example of Mother Nature's creativity. If you'd like to learn more about other marine animals that I haven't made a video about yet, go ahead and comment suggestions down below. I'd love to take you all on another underwater adventure. Thank you for joining me on this deep dive into all things thresher sharks. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It helps more ocean enthusiasts discover my channel. And if you haven't already, subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on anything ocean related. Thresher sharks may not always make the headlines like great whites, but they're absolute stars in their own right. Sleek, intelligent, and armed with one wicked tail. Their story is another reminder that our oceans are filled with wonders, many of which we still have much to learn about. Until next time, keep exploring, stay curious, and let's explore all things marine life.